Cities like Birmingham are at the forefront of the Cola Wars, a time when hundreds of soda companies battle for popularity. The earliest versions of these now antique bottles can bring thousands of dollars on the current market. The value and history make these glass bottles a real treasure, and today we will be excavating a 1910 site in hopes of finding the rarest of rare. So with the full crew today, we got Wild Kyle, Tristan, and we got Clayton. And check this out right here with a clay marble. We'll take it. That's awesome. Randy has struck first this morning with a Morton Photo Paint Company, Birmingham, Alabama. I have never seen one of these in my life. That is an amazing little bottle with a ton of history behind it. We're going to have to do some research and find out, but I'm sure we'll be able to find something. That's really, really cool. All right. She has the first soda of the morning showing. Cool. Behold. She's pulling out. He's killing me. <laughs> it's slick. There it oh, is. Thank God it's just old. <laughs> is it a Birmingham? It is a Birmingham? Yeah. Does it say, yeah, does it say 1332 on the bottom or does it have number one? Or say root? Root. Oh, good. I need that one. There's about 50 variants of these straight side Cokes and I'm trying to get one of every one of them from Birmingham. Yep. Cool. Well, take it. All right, Tristan's got a soda over here up in the hole. Let me get down in there with you so I can see it. Oh, yeah, I see it. Let's see what she is. That's a straight, it's a straight side Coke. Straight side Coke. Oh, with the top missing. If it's not busted up on the heel or anything, it'd be good drinking glass. All right. All right. Keep on going. Darn. Well, darn. Darn. Brandon, what in the world? So I told Kyle, get out of the hole and let me dig some dirt <laughs> where I could get us down there where we'd find some stuff. And there's a hutch sticking out. I literally squared it with a shovel because we're not deep enough for it to be there. Well, safe to say you got us down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's tall. It's an Ele no, Alabama bottling company. Alabama hutch. bottling company. Look at that right there. That matches the ground top from our creek walk. Yeah, it does. So you look, oh, look there, at the eagle on the back. Yep. There's an the eagle. That's beautiful, man. Let's see if we can get it where y'all can see it a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Look at how strong that embossing is. Wow, that's a beautiful hunch. Yep, I found a ton of these, Kyle. You want it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and it'll match your crown top well, you got now. I appreciate that very much. Well, that's we're down awesome. there, Kyle. <laughs> we are down there. And it's full of water. I told him, be anticipating I'm the gonna, water. I'm going to drink that. Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate milk. That's great. Got a little bottle right there. What in the world is that little thing? Oh, that's different. It is different. It's a screw top. You know what, though? Unembossed. Screw tops don't dictate the age, so that's people true. know. Think about mason jars. They went all the way back to the early 1800s. Yeah. They were screw tops. Yeah, and you found those ground lip screw tops too. I'd say that's, that's probably right around 1910. 1910-ish right there. It seems to be what the layer's in that we're in, especially after that hutch came out. Right. All right. Check it out, guys. I got me something embossed finally. I think it's a hutch. Maybe, oh, there's something else right there. You gotta quit. No, <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Is I, it a hutch? It might be going up through, I don't know what that thing is. All right. Whatever it is, we want it. We know that much. Uh, some flask? I dreamed of Jay Fox flask last night, literally. Hey, there's a flask right here, so maybe it's Jay Fox. <laughs> uh. ah! All right, who is this? Let me just kind of go this way first. And oh, it's going to be one of those Bessemers. It's the same size as one of the Bessemer ones. Is it a hut? Gallagher and O'Gara whiskey. Oh, it's a, oh this flask? Yeah. <laughs> if it is, I'm going to die. <laughs> There are Birmingham's too. I gotta be careful, I see a crack in it. You do see a crack, Dag, yeah. it. It could be a Gallagher and O'Gara thing because they got bad glass, it seems like. Could be that, could be a Meyer Mark from Birmingham, could be a Poplow, could be a Jack. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I want you out of here. All right, she's coming. Oh, I feel embossing on the other side. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, it's a med. Big, oh, my gosh. Big old East Lake med. East Lake. Wow. There you go, y'all. Wow, that's a big sucker. We'll get that cleaned off and get a better shot. I think we've only ever dug one of those. A little crack in the back, but not too bad. It's not in the face of it, though. That's a beautiful bottle right there. Heck, yeah. Awesome. Get that, get that soda, though. Yeah, I got to get soda. <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking at it. Because I think that's a hutch. Uh, It's not a hutch. It's, it's a not? jar with oh. a screw top. <laughs> what? what does it say? I bet it's a Horlicks. Come on. 
Where'd the, where'd the embossing go? I saw it. it there it is. Horlicks, Horlicks malted milk. Daggum it. That means we got about another eight inches to go to get to the bottom. Oh, it's a pound in the yeah. Say Dixie on the base? Or does it? No. Okay. Let's see what it looks like though. Now Alabama Bottling Works, Bessemer, Alabama. Nice crown top. I dug the Hutch version of this a few years ago. So that's really cool. Anything from Bessemer is always super collectible. He got a soda down there, guys. Got it out. <laughs> Got a soda, I believe. It's never in the front of the hole. It's always way under the edge. It feels like a little oh, little it's a crown top. top. What is it? What do we got here? I think you got a straight side Coke, I think. I think so. That bur is that Birmingham. This? Birmingham. What's down here? Yep. Coca-Cola. Very nice. Straight, straight side. side Coke. So the hill script ones in Birmingham are older than the shoulder script. Nice. There was no mid script in Birmingham. So okay. that's the one that came right after the coke hutch just within a few years there we go that's cool beautiful bottle wow yeah, look at that that's pretty oh gosh let yeah. me not break don't it on do, the head yeah, don't do that coca-cola wow birmingham yeah. alabama i may have a jug right here guys i can see the handle i can see the lip we can't see the back half yet to know if it's whole we're gonna dig it out much i'll see all right here we go we're gonna be careful for those of you curious, this stuff is hard as concrete. And that's why we have to use these steel shovels. You hear that? That's how hard the ground is. There's no way to get it out, except for like this. It's a little bitty jug. Smaller than the, what was it, the pints? Yeah. No, the ones they had were one gallons. One gallons. This looks like this could be a, a true half. Oh, fingers crossed guys yeah we need a whole one out of here that we have not found me or Miranda or my dad have not found one in here but Tristan and uh, Randy have both pulled nice jugs they like solid. it's solid man out of here for us besides the minis Sweet. wow that's an old top look at that top that's very old short and the handle handles there that's cool bottoms there turn out let's see the bottom solid wow yeah no damage on that sucker at all and that's glaze. a beautiful glaze too mm -hmm. very excited to have that guys very Yay. excited Bromo Lithia. This is the amber version right here. Kind of reminds you a lot of a Bromo Seltzer, but they're blue. What you got right there? That's the rest of that Viva. Just yeah. Oh, part of a Viva. Yeah, this thing looks like a carrot. It does. And then look at there. Ugh. Jack Daniels. Around 1905. $800 to $1,000 bottle. Broken. But if there's one, there's more. There's going to be a whole one in there someplace. Kitty, I don't know about you. <laughs> But I just dug this and I'm a little upset because I've been wanting one of these really, really, really bad with that native chief on it. Everybody seems to have dug one but me now. And it displays perfect, but look at that big old hole in the back. Ah, it's gonna be still sitting on my shelf though. I can promise you that. Tristan just pulled this one out right here. It says New Bros Herbicide kills the, <laughs> the dandruff germ. Oh, it's dandruff? Yeah, it says kills the dandruff germ on it. Oh. That's kind of cool. I don't think we've ever dug one of those. That's pretty neat. Randy just pulled this out right here. It says the senior ma Singer Manufacturing Company. This was a Singer sewing machine oil bottle. This is different than the ones that we typically find, though. It's actually really cool. That's a neat bottle. Oh, that's like a salt pepper shaker, isn't it? I don't know. It's a design one. I know. It's a salt pepper shaker or yeah. a powder. That's cool. All right, we got something showing up right here. Is it broken? I hope not. What, oh, what in the world? It's just a funky jar. <laughs> that look <laughs> it like the bottom to a soda. Tristan got a really nice cobalt ink. Look at that. It's a beauty right there, man. We don't find these as often as you'd think we would. We used to find them a good bit a few years ago, and then it was like they 
We went on a dry spell and haven't pulled any out in a while. So that's a welcome sight. What you got there? Say anything? You got a Horlix? Come on. Nothing? Nothing. Wipe it good. Wipe it real good. <laughs> yep. Nothing but water, man. Nothing but water. That's huh. one of those ones that you just know is going to say something. I know. It looks big. It's yeah. Looks good. No. Daggone it. Brian's got him a bucket soda down here. The problem that we're running into is, is there's a, literally a tire right there. And a tire there and a tire there and about two more over there. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of got us in a weird spot. So I'm having to dig weird. Wow, it's hard. This squat. takes too long. We'll go into time lapse. This spot took me like 30 minutes to get mine out. Dang, it's broke. No. Oh, dang. Good soda tainted it, though? It was a national dope. Oh. Not even a good I can say the burn. It was a national dope hutch half. That's terrible. Tristan's back on the goodies. Oh, nope, Raul. <laughs> he thought it was a celery color when he first saw the it's platter. It's got all that. Yeah, it's got a lot of beautiful embossing on it, but it's definitely more common than a celery color. Heck yeah. Where the heck did Randy go? Over here. Over there? Mm -hmm. I thought he was under there with you. Nope. Look at this little guy that just rolled out. <laughs> Looks pretty interesting. It's like a little whiskey. Oh, it doesn't have the names. It would have been paper labeled. This may be more modern. It's hard to say because we're not very deep. Let's see if it's got anything on the bottom. It's got a number two down there. Dang, crazy. I bet it was a mini jack. Check this out right here. Let's see what it says. Oh, oh that's one of the beautiful swamp roots. Yes, that's a beauty. In the shape of a kidney. I still want the heart tonic one or the heart root one. It's, oh, it's shaped yeah. like a heart. But you can see it says the great Dr. Kilmer swamp root kidney, liver, and bladder cure. And we'll take it. And there's something about it saying cure versus remedy to do with age, but I can't remember. So if any of you guys know, drop in the comments below if you can date this bottle. All right, Tristan got him a soda again. Oh, what yeah, is that, yeah. a grape juice? Yeah. <laughs> Stupid grape juice. Stupid Welches. Yeah. Oh, well. We Baby. live to fight another day. Yeah, it's like just right down in there. It was right below a metal pot that I just threw out. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. That's huge. Anything on it? Oh, come on. Is it slick? No. Dang it. It's slick. Slick. But <laughs> we know we're pre-prohibition. That hit in Alabama around 1919, 1920. So we know we're well over 100 years old right here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's what we need to be to find the good stuff. Tristan just pulled this interesting little thing. Mm -hmm. Don't know what it is. Brand said it might be a mustard. I don't know about that one. And then Brandon pulled this little dog leg out. What do y'all think this is right here? I thought a lightning rod ball at first, but it could be a part to a lantern. It's got stars on it. Got a beautiful color to it. My mm -hmm. goodness. I don't know what that is. It's cool though. It's pretty. We've got it's a med. Nothing. Nothing? That looked like one of the JC Marks. Tristan <laughs> mm -hmm. just pulled this Mass USA, but what's interesting is the back of it. It says Ayers in it. Pretty cool. I just said a couple weeks ago, we never find pipes. And Clayton just pulled this one out right here. And that is really cool. Doesn't have a face on it, doesn't say anything. But when I tell y'all we never find these, we never find them. So that's pretty cool right there. Randy just got her a little plate. It's like a little saucer, probably from a doll set. So cute. That is cute. That's awesome. Let's go find the cut in match. I know, right? So Miranda just dug the saucer. I went over 20 foot, dug another hole, and just dug a cup that looks like it matches. <laughs> that is hilarious. I can't wait to show Addie. She's going to love that. Downstream Check this out right here. Hawthorne yeah. Coleman Company. Uh, yeah, right at the, Never found one of those before. I don't know what that is. I have to do a little bit of research. 
kind of cool. It came out a little bit higher than where the sodas nice. have been riding, but we'll take it. Right. All right, I've got one showing right here. It's right at the point of be able to get it out. Let's see if it says anything. Oh, it oh, does. It does. Oh, cool. It says Birmingham and a whiskey, doesn't it? No, it doesn't say Birmingham, oh, yeah. but it says Planter Rye Whiskey, the Ullman Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. Have we found one of those? Oh, it's got a lip tip. Aww. Dang. No, we never found one of those, though, so that's pretty cool. We'll take it. Clayton just pulled another one out. This is a little bitty tiny boy. I thought it was going to be one of those Birmingham photo ones. Pierre and Schmidt, Hudson Heights, New Jersey. That's a different one. Mm -hmm. Never dug one of those for sure. Look at that thing. Big old wine. I mean, that's probably the biggest one we dug out of here. Maybe, yeah. Try not to pour it back in on them. Get a big, big old kick up. Don't pour it on your phone. Why not? <laughs> I don't. Look at this sucker. <laughs> Let's see if it's whole. Oh man, it's whole. Oh nice. Look at that. Oh crap! I thought oh. my finger got stuck. In. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful That's color. Beautiful man. What a beautiful job. That's a lighter color than the last one that I found. Even nothing stenciled on it though, sadly, and nothing stamped. Still beautiful. But look at that beauty. Wow. Heck yeah. Great vine. Can't beat that, right? No, not at all. <laughs> Here, let's see if this one's going to be embossed. Nope. Oh, it's a slick. That one's a slick. But we are definitely in a hole that has whiskey jugs and it has whiskey flasks and at least one straight side Coke. So All from the same barrel. Somebody yeah. was alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, somebody liked to drink <laughs> a little bit of Jack and Coke. trying to decide whether this is a drawer or a soda bottle. You're not for sure. It's right in that layer where everything's came out of. There were two shoulder straight side cokes just to the right of this, so that could be what it is. I'm trying to be careful, I swear. <laughs> it's so hard. Just grab it. I did. Oh, there you go. Wiggle it. Like a loose tooth. Yes. There we go. It does feel like a soda. Oh, oh that's a ketchup. That's yeah. a or a wine or something. Looks like a Virginia Dare bottle. Could be a condiment bottle. It's a lot of things that could be that gummit. All right, she's got one sticking out right there. All right, see if it'll come out. Be something good. It's another, uh, another straight side Coca-Cola. Oh, it's all chipped up too. Oh, it's got missing the base. And on it's it. the root. Yeah, wow. it's the root. You're gonna hit it up here then since the bottom's already gone on it. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with these bottles. It's pretty rare for me to find one that just has the heel knocked off, but I've been keeping them. I'm actually gonna cut the bottom off and leave it just where you can barely see Coca-Cola and make like uh, lampshades out of them. So I'm gonna do like a hanging light with a bunch of soda bottles with LED lights in them. All right, check it out right here. Oh, it is a soda. Oh yeah? Yeah, what did I get? I got a Deacon Brown. Look at that conglomerate. <laughs> that rust is like stuck to the side. This is the very first Deacon Brown that we dug out here. They were in business in 1912. You can see where it says Birmingham, and this would have had a paper label up around the top, but you can see where it says Deacon Brown bottling right there. And there is a tall version of this. There's also one from Montgomery. And I recently acquired a mini jug from there. So, we'll take it. All right, check it out. She's got a flask exposed right there. Let's look on this side. Let's see what the other side. With a flask, it's always like a flip of the coin. We've been hoping, though, for a while for a good local flask, and it hasn't happened in a couple of years. We've actually found way more jugs than we have local flasks, which is kind of crazy. Oh, that's nothing yeah. on it. Wow, that should have been local. Let's see what the there. heck? Yeah, I would have had the paper label mm -hmm. on it. That gum. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed hanging out with us in today's video with the full crew. It's always a blast when we have Wild Kyle down to hang out with us. I hope he had a blast as well. If you haven't checked out his channel, be sure that you do so. But I have a lot of people ask me every week to show part of my collection. This right here is just that. This is a very small percentage of the bottles that I own, but these are the ones that I keep on display in the Adventure Archaeology headquarters. I think it's very easy to spot the guys that are in this hobby digging for antique bottles or digging privies that are doing it just for profit. And that's usually the guys that do not have a collection to show for all of their hard work. They've sold it all to make the profit. Now I do run an eBay store and we sell duplicates of stuff we find because obviously space is limited. 
And so if you ever see something on our eBay store, that's because it's either something that I don't collect or something that I've already dug and I have a duplicate of it in this cabinet right here. Let's take a little bit of closer look at things. You're gonna recognize a lot of the stuff that's been dug on the channel. Some of it has not, some of it's been traded for, some of it's been bought. But these right here all came from the same company. We always joke about the Alabama Bottling Company and Works bottles because he must have been a trendsetter. Every single one of these seemed to be changing, it seemed like, every year that they were in business. So they had a large variety of bottles. Some of this stuff you have not seen on video yet, so I'm not going to go to the bottom shelf yet. That'll be coming out hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Lots of cool medicines and random stuff you see, like the Mystic Oil of Joy, the Birmingham Phosphates up here. Lots of medicines that haven't been cleaned yet, like the Rexall Collier over here. There's another elephant right there. I don't know if y'all saw that one. Nice tombstone. And on that top shelf up there is some stuff that I have been working on. Some of it's been tumbled, some of it's not. This hutch right here actually has Randy's name on it because I'm going to trade him this Elephant Steam Bottling Works for that Birmingham photo bottle that he got. So I got to hurry up and get this back to him. Peyton that was in one of our videos recently, a few months ago, these are his bottles that he found that I just got through tumbling for him. And we got some mini jugs, some full-size jugs that come out of the creeks. And like I said, this is a very small part of my collection. You can see where it would take up a ton of room though. I hope that y'all enjoyed this real quick behind the scenes tour or look at my collection. If you did, let me know if you want to see more and I'll try to incorporate some of that towards the end of the videos. We'll see you guys in the next video.